page 121. 3. Listening and Speaking News Update A. Listen to two news stories. Answer the questions. Good morning. This is John Cho. First, here is a report on the severe storms that caused so much damage in the northern part of the country last night. Cindy Chavez is reporting from one small town that was hit by the bad weather. Cindy, what's the situation like there? Good morning, John. Well, this morning the North is waking up to the results of some of the worst storms in 30 years. Throughout the night, the area was hit by thunderstorms, hailstones, and heavy rains. Several small towns across the area were completely flooded and hundreds of people were left homeless. What happened to those people? Were they rescued? Yes, John. Many people were rescued by the fire department. However, the scary thing was, some people couldn't leave their homes because of the floods, so they had to climb onto the roofs of their houses and wait for the fire department to rescue them in boats. And have the people been able to return to their homes? No, not yet. Many are staying with friends and neighbors, and others are staying in school buildings in towns near here. Fortunately, no one was badly injured, though of course many homes were seriously damaged. Thank you for that report, Cindy. Now, I hear you have an update on a story you reported yesterday. Some good news this time? That's right, John. Yesterday, I reported on a young couple who were getting married in a park. The wedding ceremony was disrupted by a huge hailstorm, and the groom was hit on the head by a hailstone the size of a golf ball, and he was taken to the hospital. And so the wedding was canceled? Yes, and that was terrible. But here's an update, and it's good news. This morning I was told that the groom was not seriously injured, and he and the bride have set a new date for their wedding. A happy ending, then, to that story. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, Cindy. Next on the news...